what's Nikki? What's your opinion on mega lipo? That's something on Godzilla, is it? Mega lipo? Um, if the surgeon's very, very experienced, mega lipo. <laughs> what's my experience of mega lipo? Um, I haven't got well, what's oh, sorry, what's my opinion on it? I thought you well, I'll tell you my experience of it. My experience of it is not huge. I'm not very, very experienced on mega lipo, Nikki. I'm not big on mega lipo. Um, you know, mega lipo, so that's a lot of lipos. I mean, it depends on what you're talking about. Mega lipo for me, you're looking at like more than five liters. So I think more than five liters of liposuction is a lot of liposuction and it can be done and there are surgeons who are very experienced in it and and will do it um but you you know you've got to be careful um you've got to you know i think it's good um to stay overnight because you it's good to be monitored because you get fluid shifts after having such a lot of fat being removed um and you can get fluid shifts and you can become hypotensive your blood pressure can drop you can feel weak and dizzy so it's good to have some sort of a drip going on and I, I would say it's good to be monitored overnight um it can be done and i think if your surgeon like i said choose your surgeon not the procedure if your surgeon's experienced in it and you've got a lot of areas that need to be addressed and you get them all addressed in one go great go for it but it but it is you know it's it's a big it's a it's a mega it's a mega thing so um yeah as i say i i it's not something i do i don't do may i don't do huge huge volumes like five liters plus um but it can be done but if you are doing it you've got to have an experienced surgeon you've got to have a good facility you do it in you've got to have good post-op care um you know because you've got to make sure that you're okay and stable hemodynamically with your blood pressure and what have you afterwards so it, yeah it's a thing nikki and if your surgeon's experienced go for it um 